Good morning, everybody. Our hymn is number 725, 725. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs. Let us hail the Lord. Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Had in not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Masar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. O forty. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. Hymn number 725. <clears throat> Immortal, invisible God, only wise, in light inaccessible, hid from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, Almighty, victorious, thy great name we praise. Unresting, unhasting, and silent as light, no wanting, no wasting, thou rulest in might. Thy justice, like mountains high, soaring above, thy clouds, which are fountains of goodness and love. To all life thou givest, a both great and small. In all life thou livest, the true life of all. We blossom and flourish as leaves on the trees, and wither and perish, but not change at thee. The great Father of glory, pure Father of light, thine angels adore thee, all veiling their sight. All loud we want would render, or oh, help us to see, tis only the splendor of light heeded thee. My eyes watch for you before dawn. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. <clears throat> In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who have me unjustly draw near, they are far from your law. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My eyes watch for you before dawn. The Lord is my strength. I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The 
chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled high. The moving waters stood up like a dam. The deeps turned solid in the midst of the sea. You blew with your breath the sea closed over them. They went down like lead into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you so glorious in holiness, spreading fear through your deeds, you who do marvels? You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hand have, hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my strength, I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Scripture reading from 2 Peter. Brothers, you have been called and chosen. Where called the harder to justify it by good deeds. If you do all these things, there is no danger that you will ever fall away. In this way, you will be granted admittance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I call to you, Lord, you are my refuge. You are all I have in the land of the living. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Give your light, Lord, to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give your light, Lord, to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Christ became man to make us sons of God, and he intercedes for us before God our Father. Let us thank him for his loving mercy and pray. You have enlightened us in baptism, we consecrate our day to you. 
Fill us with praise of you today. May we take your word with us wherever we may go. Teach us to respond to your word like Mary, our mother. May your word be fruitful in us. Give us courage when things go wrong. Strengthen us with faith in you, with hope in your promises, and with love of your will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let the splendor of the resurrection light up our hearts and minds, Lord, scattering the shadows of death and bringing us to the radiance of eternity, who we'll make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Prayer for vocations to the priesthood in Shrewsbury Diocese. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love through Jesus, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Eddie, Mary, and Matthew Clark. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The priests and prophets address the officials and all the people. This man deserves to die since he has prophesied against this city as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah, however, replied to the people as follows. The Lord himself sent me to say all the things you have heard against this temple and this city. So now amend your behavior and actions. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. If you do, he will relent and not bring down on you the disaster he has pronounced against you. For myself, I am as you see, as you see in your hands. Do whatever you please or think right with me. But be sure of this, that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood on yourselves, on this city and on its citizens, since the Lord has truly sent me to you to say all these things in your hearing. The officials and all the people then said to the priests and prophets, this man does not deserve to die. He has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. And Jeremiah had a protector in Echem, son of Sisham, as he ha was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your great love, answer me, O God. In, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me, O God. God. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep, lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. In, in your, your great, great love, love answer me, me O God. God. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. In, In your, your great, great love, love, answer me, me O God. God. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive, for the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. In, In your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me, me O God. O God. It is scant for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy are those who persecuted in the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Herod the Tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus and said to his court, This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead. And that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. 
Now it was Herod who had arrested John, chained him up, and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had told him, it is against the law for you to have her. He had wanted to kill him, but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet. Then during the celebrations for Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and so delighted Herod that he promised on oath to give her anything she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, give me John the Baptist's head here on a dish. The king was distressed, but thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guests, he ordered it to be given her and sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought in on a dish and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went off to tell Jesus the gospel of the Lord. It was the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates who said, from me you shall hear the whole truth, not in flowery language, decked out with fine phrases. No, what you will hear will be straightforward speech, using the first words that come to me. You may not be surprised to hear that Socrates affronted people and found himself condemned to death or trampled, trumped up on trumped up charges. Bluntness, it seems, is no way to make friends. To be a prophet was therefore a hazardous calling. In our readings today, we heard about John the Baptist's execution and how Jeremiah once narrowly escaped the same fate. John's beheading was used as a deterrent his severed head placed on a platter at a banqueting table before Herod's guest. Royal guests and officials were left in no doubt that should they wish to keep their own heads, it was safer to use flattery with rulers and turn a blind eye to their wrongdoing. Jesus refused to compromise with truth and understood only too well where it would lead. Prophecy is not just about foretelling the future, as some may think, although warning people about the consequences of their actions comes to much the same thing. It means being a channel of God's truth. Since that involves daring to speak out, sometimes saying what people would rather not hear, we are all called to be prophets of a kind. It takes courage to brave someone's outrage. It takes a real love. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of truth, give us courage to speak the truth and compassion to speak it in love. Make us the royal king of friends who care more about another's well-being. Lord, hear us. <clears throat> Together with Mary, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. <clears throat> Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your praise in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercessions, show support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, pray throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, who with the blessed apostles and all the saints of priesthood you throughout the ages, we may merit to request you eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of Christ. Body 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 of Christ.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through our intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions. Let in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life, that all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol, that those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all, that we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor, that the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may have light and guidance in ruling the church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena and for our personal intentions Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when, full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us, like you, to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. Bet your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize 
that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. And may we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. You have given your people bread from heaven. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. <clears throat> 